Experimental science demands repeatability of results but many experiments are not due to fraud or error. The list of papers whose results were later retracted or discredited, thus leading to invalid science is growing. Some errors are introduced when the experimenter's desire for a certain result unconsciously influences selection of data a problem which is possible to avoid in some cases with double-blind protocols. There have also been cases of deliberate scientific misconduct. Topic. Famous experimental errors N. Ray's a reported faint visual effect that experimenters could still see even when the supposed causative element in their apparatus had been secretly disconnected. Walter Kaufman claimed experimental disproof of special relativity published in Annalen der Physik and said to be the first journal paper to cite Einstein's 1905 electrodynamics paper. Kaufman's paper stated that his results were not compatible with special relativity. According to Gerald Holton, it took a decade for the shortcomings of Kaufman's test to be realized. During this time, critics of special relativity were able to claim that the theory was invalidated by the available experimental evidence. Walter Sidney Adams' 1924 premature verification of the gravitational redshift effect. A number of earlier experimenters claimed to have found the presence or lack of gravitational redshift, but Adams' result was supposed to have settled the issue. Unfortunately the measurement and the prediction were both in error such that it initially appeared to be valid. It is no longer considered credible and there has been much debate about whether the results were fraud or that his data may have been contaminated by stray light from Sirius A. The first reliable confirmations of the effect appeared in the 1960s first reproducible synthetic diamond 1955 originally reported in nature in 1955 and later diamond synthesis was later determined to be impossible with the apparatus subsequent analysis indicated that the first gemstone used to secure further funding was natural rather than synthetic Artificial diamonds have since been produced. Claimed detection of gravitational waves 1970. In 1970, Joseph Weber, an electrical engineer turned physicist, and working with the University of Maryland, reported the detection of 311 excitations on his test equipment designed to measure gravitational waves. He utilized an apparatus consisting of two one-ton aluminum bars, each a separate detector, in some configurations being hung within a vacuum chamber, or having one bar displaced to Argonne National Laboratory, near Chicago, about 1,000 kilometers away, all for further isolation. He took extreme measures to isolate the equipment from seismic and other interferences. But Weber's criteria for data analysis turned out to be ill-defined and partly subjective. By the end of the 1970s Weber's work was considered spurious as it could not be replicated by others. Still Weber is considered one of the fathers of gravitational wave detection and inspiration for other projects such as LIGO, OOPS Leon Particle 1976 data from Fermilab in 1976 appeared to indicate a new particle at about 6 GeV which decayed into electron-positron pairs. Subsequent data and analysis indicated that the apparent peak resulted from random noise. The name is a pun on Upsilon, the proposed name for the new particle and Leon M. Lederman, the principal investigator. The illusory particle is unrelated to the Upsilon meson, discovered in 1977 by the same group, Cold Fusion 1989. Since the announcement of Pons and Fleischmann in 1989, Cold Fusion has been considered to be an example of a pathological science. Two panels convened by the U.S. Department of Energy, one in 1989 and a second in 2004, did not recommend a dedicated federal program for cold fusion research. 
In 2007 Nature reported that the American Chemical Society would host an invited symposium on cold fusion and low-energy nuclear reactions at their national meeting for the first time in many years. Cosmic Microwave Background 2014 On March 17, 2014, astrophysicists of the BICEP2 collaboration announced the detection of inflationary gravitational waves in the B-mode power spectrum, which if confirmed, would provide clear experimental evidence for the theory of inflation. However, on 19 June 2014, lowered confidence in confirming the cosmic inflation findings was reported. Topic. Alleged scientific misconduct cases Rupp 1926 dubious canal ray experiments, Rupp had been considered one of the best experimenters of his time, until he was forced to admit that his notable track record was at least partly due to the fabrication of results. Water Memory 1988 French immunologist Jacques Benvenisti published a paper in Nature which seemed to support a mechanism by which homeopathy could operate. The journal editors accompanied the paper with an editorial urging readers to suspend judgment until the results could be replicated. Benvenisti's results failed to have been replicated in subsequent double blind experiments. Materials Physics till the 1999 a succession of high-profile peer-reviewed papers previously published by Jan Hendrik Schaan were subsequently found to have used obviously fabricated data, production of Element 118 1999, Element 118 was announced, and then the announcement withdrawn by Berkeley after claims of irreproducibility. The researcher involved, Viktor Ninov, denies doing anything wrong. Topic. See also Academic dishonesty List of topics characterized as pseudoscience Bogdanov affair